today. Uh, a beer that uh, we were given by a good man named Neil. So yes. Neil, thank you. He's all the way from Fort Wayne, Indiana, as is this beer. It is from Mad Anthony Brewing. Yes. It's this, Hopsquatch. It's Hopsquatch. Glub, 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 glub. <sighs> this beer is coming to Ohio soon, if it's not already in Ohio Yeah, this yet. one's coming to it's Ohio. Like just brand new. Yep. And uh, we don't know anything about Mad Anthony. No. I know they have four locations, because that's what the box said. But okay. I've never actually had anything from them. No. And this one sounds like a treat. A single hop IPA using just mosaic. Ooh, you Ooh. love some mosaic. Mosaic, Citra, Amarillo. I know those are like the three popular, like, you got to have them hops. It's because they're awesome. They're well, so good. And and just the name alone, not Hop Squash, but Mad Anthony Brewing. I, I think you're talking about Mad Anthony Wayne, a general in the War of 1812. That crazy guy. And it's a local, he's like a local hero around here. So uh, that's cool as yeah. a history teacher. So I'm yeah. down with that. Corey, I mean, just when you were pouring it, we were doing kind of our B-roll. It's got a nice aroma and we haven't even really dived in yet. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a hop showcase too. Because I mean, look how clear and light this is. But the first step of a hop showcase is the smell. So let's do it. Ah, that's nice. Yeah, that is really nice, isn't it? It's got a, a pretty big, like, tropical fruit thing going on. Uh, a little bit like a papaya mango deal. That's the first thing that's that hit me. That's the first thing that hit me. <laughs> I, get, I get some, like, resiny, sort of, like, herbaceous yeah, kind of smells. That was... So, I, I don't know. It's not pine, but, but definitely some of those more, like, greener aromas danky. to it. Even though uh, the brewery themselves gave us this beer... They don't sponsor the show. No. They don't. I mean, they haven't no. given us anything besides the beer. So we're not going to rate it on anything other than our totally, you know, unbiased, total objective opinion on that. Mm -hmm. So uh, just an FYI. Yeah. And, you know, I will say on that note, to, to, to pull a little downside on it, it's almost a little too herbaceous. Like you were saying, has that really grassy kind of green herbaceous note that sometimes Mosaic doesn't have. Mosaic is a much more of a tropical fruit bomb. And, and that's... I get that, but not in the quantities that I want from a big IPA, especially with a single hop like this. Well, you know, and, and if you watch the show, uh, you know that Corey and I sort of have a type uh, of IPA that we kind of gravitate to, and there's we can pretty much split yeah. them in two. Yeah. You know, you got your more fruity ones, and you got your more sort of like herbal ones, and this definitely falls, I feel like, in that herbal category. It, but that doesn't mean it smells bad. You know, it just smells a little different than what I want. And I don't think it's say. overpowering. No, I just think it's no. there. I kind of like it, so, and that's not oh, I'm, typical. I'm real ready to dive in. Oh, well, then let's just do it. All right. Cheers. cheers. That is mm. spicy. Like, not like hot, but there's a a spice peppery Herb, kick to it. An herbal spicy kick. Yeah. Yeah, definitely a little pepper on there. There is not a whole lot of body to this. No, not at all. And I think we've been swirling a little too much because mine's a little flat. Is yours a little flat? I will say, just in disclosure, he said these are um, a half fill. These are like not store filled bottles. So maybe that's kind of what that what that is. But I want a little bit more carbonation on this. Yeah, for sure. our 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 particular taste is a little under carbonated. So maybe that's also lending itself to the lightness. I'm not really getting a whole lot of mouthfeel, a whole lot of action in there. Uh, you'll notice on the B roll pours that it's got some carbonation up front, and then kind of just lays flat. Yeah. Uh, I still think that you get the flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. There's, uh, I'm kind of getting like a, a unripened pineapple deal going on. It does have a little. It's not bitter by any means. No. It's not a bitter bomb, which I really like. Uh, but it, it is fruity. It has some of that kind of musty, oniony kind of chive little aroma to, or taste to it, just along with the aroma. Um, but it's pretty clean. I mean, yeah, this is a clean. very clean drinking beer. Easy. Easy, I mean, seven seven and a half percent? Yeah. This is crushable for seven and a half percent. Yeah, it's definitely not. Uh, it doesn't have the body of a 7.5% beer. I like it, but I want to like it more than I do. Uh, I'm going to go like a 87. You know, I, I feel like there's a little bit of improvement room for this beer. Uh, though it could just be this bottle because it was the sample kind he gave us. And I feel like if we had it fresh off the shelf, it might be a little bit better. I'm going to go pick up a six pack of this for sure once it hits shelves because I want to see how much different it is. I'm going to go a shade lower. You went 87. I'm going to go 85. I think it's nice. I like the flavor. Uh, to me, this is a really nice, like a steady beer that I know is going to be good. Stock the fridge with it. It's not going to blow your mind, but people are going to be like, 
I can drink this. I mean, because oh, this yeah. is pretty this is pretty tame for an IPA. So people who are just getting into IPAs maybe would really enjoy this one. If you ever had Man Anthony or you've had the hop squatch and you love it, or you, you know, just want to give us your thoughts, tell us in the comment section below. And until we see those, always remember. We are the Brewview Crew. We will review a brew for you. Cheers. Cheers. There we go. <laughs> I'm trying to get the link. We're curious. What do you want to see from the BRC? Yeah. Do you want some more craft beer showdown type shows? Want more blind taste tests? Tell us what you're interested in seeing in the comment section below. We're gonna pump those videos out just for you. So make sure you let your voice be heard. It's a brewocracy up in here. The BRC Brewocracy <laughs> Viewer's Choice Video <laughs> Challenge. Here it is. <laughs>